I mean, again, he, he doesn't. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Now, I know that's not expecting me to be live on air. Actually, I wasn't planning to come here, but I saw a comment. Muslims, they make a comment. And thank you, Muslims, for uh, uh, for the comment. Uh, you know, uh, I, I see uh, many comments in the chat. Uh, and I think Muslims, they are trying to promote themselves. So they come to us and they say, this guy, his name is Andrew Tate. He converted to Islam, and as I understand, this guy, he is a pimp. He used to have, a, I don't know if he still have it or not, a porn website. And he said, this guy, he helped him. I don't know how a person like this can help you. Uh, you know, uh, it's very, very, very uh, funny to see somebody, his faith is affected by somebody is a pimp converted to Islam. And this pimp, he would have influence on people. But obviously he have. That's why he did what he did. So people, they are really stupid, silly, and uh, you know, just like kids. Uh, for me, and those people, they are not even worth to, you know, to make my hands dirty with them. Uh, here we fight faith of religion, not a person, you know. People do things, stupid things for reason, for this reason or that reason. We don't, we don't want to go after people for why they did this, why they did that. Everybody have his own reason. And at the end of the day, everyone, he pay for his decision, good or bad. So don't be silly and stupid. If you are stupid, stay away. Now, today we have a Muslim. And this Muslim, like, you know, he's acting like he's a hero. And he, a Christian prince, is not answering him. His name is Ghazi. Ghazi Rahman. And Ghazi, he's asking me actually to debate his sisters who don't dare even to give me their Skype to call them. They have beards, but those beard, they are just beard, you know. They don't dare to give me their Skype to call them and they don't dare to call me. And he is saying, well, they need a moderator. Look like they need a column to hide behind. Well, Ghazi, I have a solution for this. You can bring all your sisters who have beards and I will make you the moderator. I mean, you hate me, don't you? So... Can we find better moderator than you? You will be the moderator. But be careful. You will get a lot of bunches between. So look what he said. Hello, Christian Prince. Finally blocked up the courage to respond to me. <laughs> hey, by the way, Abdul, potato, my Skype is open. If you are really a man, not a son of Muta, then be the man and let's see who have the courage. Call me. But you are not a man, you are just a text terrorist. So my question is, if Jesus was God, when, then why did he need to eat? That's a good question, you know. Well, I will go with you. The one who needs something, he do not, he cannot be God. Is that fair, guys? I will use their logic. Remember this carefully. The one who need something, he cannot be God. If we ask the Muhammadan, can Islam be exist without Prophet Muhammad? They will say no. Okay, does that mean Allah, he need Muhammad? Uh, yes. Well, that mean Allah is not God. Because Allah, he need to feed in Muhammad in order to grow. Do Allah need to have angels? Yes. Are you sure? No. Come on. Yes. Okay. Do Allah need to have a chair? Uh, well, Allah have a chair because he like to have a chair. So is that because he need it or just he like it? Oh, no. Just he like it. Well, I don't know. Look like your God Allah is very weird because he in the Quran said, that he created the chair for the sake of Muhammad. And if not Muhammad, will not create anything. So the purpose of all creation is Muhammad. And the hadith is so clear. So Allah, he needed Muhammad in order to create anything because everything is created for the sake of Muhammad. Allah is so lonely. Allah is not God. Allah needed Muhammad. It's not Muhammad who needed Allah. It's the opposite. Do Allah need Jibreel? If you say no, 
Then why Allah did not send his message to Muhammad without Jibreel? Do Allah need hands and fingers and legs? If you say no, then why Allah have hands, two hands, and why he have fingers, five fingers in each, and why he have toes, and why he have nose, and why he have face, and why he have shoulders, and why he have a shin. If you say he do not need them, then those are useless. And that's mean, if Allah hands are useless, so why they are there? The Quran says that Allah created Adam by his hands. So do Allah need hands? Obviously, yes. Why? Because without his hands, he cannot create Adam. Let us go to the Quran so we can love together. This is the yellow pages of Muhammad, the most love lovable, from the most obvious false prophet. He says, let us switch to Arabic. How Allah created Adam? He created Adam by his two hands. O oh, Iblis, Allah speaking to Iblis. And the funny is, by the way, that Allah he is willing to speak to Iblis, which is Shaitan, but he never spoke to Muhammad. I mean, how stupid is that? This guy, he created the whole universe for Muhammad, yet he didn't want to speak to Muhammad. But he is willing to speak to Shaitan and have a nice coffee with him. So he said to him, what keeps you from prostrating before that which I have created with my own two hands? And you know, I like it when the Muslim between two brackets, they say my own, because maybe they thought somebody would think that Allah is borrowing hands. I mean, why you are putting the word own? As long as it says my hands, it's mean his, his hands. And here in the Quran, it says my two hands. So, I'm going with your comment that the one who needs something, he cannot be God. And you Muslim, you say, actually other verse in the Quran says, if Allah wanted to some, something to happen, he said to him or to, to it, be and be. Or be and it's going to be. Uh, and actually, that was an, given as example about Jesus and, and Adam. The city Allah, he said, that Isa and Adam, they are similar. Allah, he said to them both, be, and he was. But just this verse here, it says Allah created Adam by his two hands. So Allah said to Adam, be, and he was, before he used his hands, or after he used his hands. If you say to me, before he used his hands, then why is using the hands? <laughs> If you say to me after he used his hands, then what the point of saying be if nothing happened? <laughs> See, we are just using your stupid logic. And here it says, you are arrogant or you are one of the exalted ones. So Allah is not sure. Hey, it's Iblis, are you arrogant? And here the funny is, if you see, if you see the stupid story in the Quran, which is proven again that neither Allah or Muhammad have a brain. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Allah, he ordered what? Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Yet he is upset from Satan and Satan in Islam is not a fallen angel. Satan in Islam is a genie. If we go here again in the funny cartoonic book of Allah, we will see uh, try not to laugh when you read this, you know. Uh, again, my Skype is open. If there is any Muslim, have the courage and the knowledge and he don't mind his nose to grow calling me. Uh, Allah, he said to the angels, I'm going to create a creature, a man, 
from sounding clay. So Allah, did he say be and he was? No, the verse says Allah, he used his hand. Then, okay, after he mixes a clay, so he modeled the clay. Why Allah need the clay to create Adam? I mean, I'm just using your logic. I mean, can't Allah says be Adam and Adam will be? Any Muhammadan can explain to us? Uh, this is not my logic, by the way. I'm using your logic. Your logic is, if Jesus eat food, that's mean he need. Well, do Allah need hands to create Adam? Do Allah need clay to create Adam? He need to mix dirt with water? Do he need any of those material? And then, Allah did not say to Adam, be and he was, as the other verse says, as you see here, Allah, he molded, he shaped clay of a man, and then he lifted, according to Muhammad, for 40 years as a clay to dry, because Allah, he don't have here a dryer. And it looked like it was an ice age at that time, so it took a long time. And then after we finished him, fashioned him, sorry, and when we I have fashioned him in due proportion between two bracket, and the breathe into him of my spirit. Question. Why do Allah need, I'm using your statement, not my statement. This is not my question. Why Allah need to breathe into Adam in order for Adam to be a living person? Remember, you are the one who said that if Jesus eat food, that's mean he needs. So the, the point is need. Doesn't matter what you do. Anything is about need. It cannot be for God. Now, when the Muslim, they say that their God don't eat, well, and he cannot eat. That's mean he is what? An idol? Angels in the Quran, they don't eat. I'm just using your logic. According to you, the one who need food, only that person is God. All right. So, according to the Quran, in the chapter of Hud, verse number 69 and 70s, uh, I think 70, let us go to the yellow page of Muhammad again. <laughs> the angels did not eat. Abraham, which Muhammad sometimes called him Ibrahim, and the Muslim, they fixed that, by the way. They took the, the Abraham from the Quran, and now they have only Ibrahim. Uh, let us see here. Let us go to chapter 11. In chapter 11, verse number 69, verse number 70, Abraham, aka Ibrahim, he slay a cow for the visitors, who they are the angel of Allah. But he noticed that those are, don't they don't eat. I mean, he put the cow in front of them, and then he don't they don't eat and your prophet explained that and he says angels don't eat so based on what you just said the one who don't eat he is god for how if he is god why he eat i'm just using your logic now what you will say to me you will say to me the angels are different creatures well the angels are different creatures that's wonderful that's mean it's possible to be created yet you don't eat yet you are not God so you are a hypocrite same time if Jesus eat that will not change the fact that Jesus can create from the mud the bird the same as Adam was created so how Jesus who need to eat he can breathe into the mud and give life if I am a human like everybody, as you are Muslims trying to claim because you hate Jesus, you are Antichrist, you and your faithy prophet, so you try to put Jesus down. So if Jesus is what you are saying, he is just normal human being, well, he will do what every normal human being do. He have no power over death and life. He have no power over creation. I mean, who is the one who can create? You will say to me, God says, Jesus in the Quran says he created from the mother bird. You will say to me, by Allah leaves. And here now we will jump to this question. What is the proof of that? 
that is your claim somebody came 600 years after Jesus saying there is a God the Jews never heard of him his name is Allah he is a moon God and that God is the one who gave Jesus the permission what if I told you that the president of North Korea mr. Kim Chong Ching Ho he decided that he is the one who gave Jesus the power and he have a book about it so is that the proof so you Muslims are very funny and now we have a proof against you that Jesus is a creator when supposedly only God can create Jesus until now is alive and nobody can live until now thousands of years and Jesus right now in heaven and who is in heaven save Jesus and Jesus can make the blind see Jesus can tell you what you hide in your, your houses, which means he knows the unseen. And the Quran says, says, who knows the unseen save Allah? Huh? Who knows the unseen save Allah? And the funny, by the way, the stupid uh, uh, Quran claim uh, that he is the only who knows what is inside the woman, Billy. It take you five dollars to know if your wife she have a baby or she have a goat hmm? chapter 9 verse number 78 says Wa inna allaha Allah he knows the unseen but there is any proof false proof Muhammad he told the Muslims that 100 of you will fight a thousand which mean 1 to 10 the Muslim they went and they got a big screwdriver. So they came back to Muhammad and they told him, you told us a lie. And not only that, Muhammad actually, he saw a vision from Allah and he told them the ones who was going to fight you tomorrow are very little. But when they went there, it was a huge number. <laughs> so look what happened here. Uh, The Quran says in chapter 8 verse number 65 and chapter 866 and look how this God he changed his his numbers faster than Joe Biden oh people oh prophet urge the believers to fight to go and kill criminals the gang if there is 20 of you patient men will overcome 200 if there is be a hundred of you will overcome a thousand very simple mathematics one to ten one to ten okay the most time they went and they got the biggest screwdriver in their ass right away Muhammad when they arrive he heard the news that they got busted so what he said to them now listen uh, now Allah has lightened for you okay uh, knowing that there was a weakness not wait, wait. Well, hold on now he knew that they have a weakness and look 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 at the first translation knowing knowing but in Arabic it says Wa and he just found out Wa now Allah what? Alima. Al Ana Khafafallahu Ankum wa Alima. Allah now he found out. Actually, this is why this uh, Sheikh from uh, uh, I forgot his name, the Muslim, they hate him now. You know, remember the Sheikh who said that this verse doesn't make sense? Do you remember? He said this verse doesn't make sense. Somebody have a mistake. How Allah is how, how it says Allah Alima. Now he found out. So, if we change the translation here, this is Arbery. Let us choose another idiot, Hilali Khan. Hmm. Now Allah has lightened your task, for He knows that there are there is weakness. I mean, do you see the false translation? For He knows. Or if he just found out.
you change the translator because you see just to show you how this is doesn't doesn't make sense because if Allah knows that they have a weakness and now he is lighting their task so what what the promise he made here he made a promise 100 of you come fight 1000 don't Allah knew at that moment when he gave them that that they have weakness so the verse after it says now Allah he found out now he lightened your task and now he found out not knows not for he knows and if you keep changing the translation you might find somebody have little this this decency which is very hard between Muslims let us see uh, Itani Hmm. Look, knowing that there is a weakness, knowing, now knowing. <laughs> Anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that this is Alima, past tense. And because we added now, so this has just happened. Al-ana Allahu ankum wa alima. Now, Allah, he lightened your task and now he knew or he found out that you have a weakness. And here you ask yourself, what kind of God does God will have? So, so what the first promise was, was a false promise. And you will find that there's no difference between the group, the same group. You know, he found that there's a weakness now. So if there are a hundred steadfast among you, will defeat 200. So the promise was one will defeat 10. Now the promise one will defeat two. One to two. So Muhammad looked like, you know, he looked at himself how much he is exaggerating with his lies. So he decided to fix it. You know, there's a guy, uh, he, he always lie. Always, always love, love to lie. So his wife, she told him, you know, husband, when, you know, you, you always say embarrassing things. When the, we have visitors, you stuck, you forget yourself. You start saying things doesn't make sense. And obviously you are, you know, you are lying. He said, what I can do? I forget myself. Next time when I make an exaggeration, just cough. Okay. Like, <coughs> so this guy, uh, as usual, he have visitors. And he told them yesterday, I built a building. It is... 700 floor how many floor 700 floor his wife she start coughing <laughs> so the husband he said well you know what it is true it's 700 floor but the width of it was 10 centimeters supposing now he's fixing it it's the width is 10 centimeter okay so it's 700 floor but the width of the building like he exaggerate with the, by the height, so now he's trying to fix it by the width. And this is the stupid Muhammad. And not to forget to mention, I mean, the Muslims, they are coming about, about God, and their God, the Quran says that Muhammad has zero miracles. Isn't it your Quran keeps saying that Muhammad has zero miracles? Isn't it the Quran says that the Arab keeps saying, why he don't even have one single, <laughs> you know, uh, single uh, miracle look at this why he don't give a miracle why he don't even give a miracle why he don't give a miracle you know like he don't have a miracle you will notice that mary right away she have a miracle zechariah right away have a miracle all the prophet of god in the quran they have miracles muhammad have none And the funny, the Muslim, they will say to you, well, no, no, the Quran says that the Prophet Muhammad, he split the moon. If you go in the Quran, you will see that nowhere it says such a statement. In fact, in the same chapter, after that verse, it says Muhammad have no miracles. Let us read together. This was actually a poetry Muhammad he stole from Imrul Qais. 
all what the Quran was saying, it, he was reporting, or Muhammad, reporting an eclipse. Here it says, look at this. The hour has drawn near and the moon split. And then he says, if they see a sign, they turn away. Well, what is the sign? What, what is the sign? First of all, Muhammad here, he fabricated a false prophecy. He said 1400 years ago that this moon split and that is the judgment day is coming in the corner. In the corner. But nothing happened. And this was the eclipse. And there's tons of hadith about Muhammad. He go crazy when he see an eclipse. And then... If they see a sign, they turn away and they say, this is a magic. That is the most funny thing is, because why the Quran don't say the story? Muhammad, he ordered the moon to split, and the moon is split. Secondly, where is the moon which is split? The Muslim, they have a picture from NASA there's a there's a valley in the moon like a grand canyon and they say you see this is the crack my friend you have a crack in your head this is not split split mean it became two pieces when you split something it's mean it's separated it became two pieces and if the moon have such a thing happen ever all historian in the world they will see it at least all those who have the same time zone like europe they have the same as saudi arabia especially Muhammad is in, you know, close to Jeddah. So, you know, the same time, like what is different between one hour, two hours? So those who live in UK, those who live in France, those who live in, in Greece, which is, uh, you know, Turkey today, the thief, Turkish, they took it. And we pray that the Lord will give it back. Uh, those who live in Israel, those who live in Iraq, the Babylon, the Assyrian, the, the Persian, nobody mentioned that ever, there is something like this happen. Imagine suddenly the moon become two pieces. There's a Muslim. He have a beard. Uh, he said to apostate prophet, uh, the reason nobody saw it because it was happened for a few seconds and everybody was asleep. <laughs> it happened only for a few, few seconds, brother. Okay. <laughs> and everybody was asleep. I mean, do you see the miracle? Yeah, by the way, yesterday I split uh, not only the moon, to be honest with you. I I bought a cheese, you know, and I said to myself, which one I split today? The moon, the cheese, the moon, the cheese, the moon, the cheese. I said, you know what? Splitting the cheese is not a big deal. I mean, what a big deal. It's so easy. So I decided to split the moon. So I took a picture of the moon, and then I got to my Photoshop program, and I draw a crack, and I post online, and that's it. And people, they ask me, we never saw that. Well, all of you, you were asleep, you stupid idiot. How you can see it? Secondly, uh, we, you know, the price of gas is expensive. How you can see the moon splitting? So the Muslim, they claim that when this miracle happened, the reason nobody in history reported anything like that, because everybody was asleep. So why Allah did the miracle when everybody asleep? Everybody... I mean, everybody in Greece, everybody in Cyprus, everybody in Jordan, everybody in Syria, everybody in Israel, everybody in Rome, everybody in Persia, everybody is asleep. This is the God who do his business only when people are asleep. But then things get more complicated. Things get more complicated. Muhammad, he say, well, you know, people, they accuse Noah to be a liar. <laughs> but Noah, he have a proof of what he said. It happened. And then he caught what, not, what happened. You know, this guy, he caught what happened to others, but he don't caught what happened to him. This guy, like a, like a bald man, he's, he's proud about the hair of the neighbor. You know? So he started talking about Miracles, nobody even saw. Like as an example here, there's a she camel.
And by the way, this is all taken from a poetry. There's a rock, and the people they say to the Prophet Saleh, can you make this rock camel and she is a bright night? Like, what the heck? This is what they ask for? And Allah, he made the rock a camel and she gave birth to 10 month old Bretnet. She's a Bretnet, brother. I mean, how come Allah, he can do all those things to everybody, but he cannot do it to Muhammad? And look, the funny thing is that those people, they were uh, 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 enjoying this camel who can give milk to everybody and then they kill it. So Allah destroyed them. How Allah destroyed them? He screamed, single cry, Allah Akbar. Everybody is already dead. This is the this is the nuke of Allah. But if there is a single book in the history speak of such a story ever happened that there is people who have a rock and the rock became a camel and the camel later they killed the one. And why they want to kill the camel? So Allah he screamed and then all of them they die. And then he start quoting for them. I mean this guy is trying to scare them. He don't have miracles. And then, do you remember what happened to Lut? Do you happen what happened to Lut, okay? Huh? They deny the warning. Okay, why you don't do the same? Look, Muhammad, he told the Christians, when he is alive, not when he's dead for sure, because Muhammad, when he's dead, he don't talk, he fought only. As Ibn Abbas, he said, he said, bury your friend, he is farting, he stink. So look what Muhammad, he said. He said to the Christians and the Jews, believe in me, Allah said to you, before we erase your faces and your eyebrows and your mouth. Okay, here we go. Noah, he made a threat to his people about, he made a warning, he will have a flooding, the flooding happened. Look, we have the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, it happened. Muhammad, he promised the Christian and the Jews, if they don't believe in him, Allah will make them, he will erase their faces, I mean, look at this. Uh, I don't know how to describe this for you. Okay, I think I need to use some skills here. Give me a second. This is a Muslim sheikh. So what Muhammad is threatening to do? What Muhammad exactly is threatening to do? He is threatening to erase. No eyes, no mouth, and not only that, he will make their mouth in the back of their head. No eyebrows. And he will make the location in the back of their head. So, Muhammad, he made a threat. How come all the other prophets, they made the threat or the warning and it happened? But Muhammad, the threat never happened. Have you ever seen a Jew or a Christian? Allah, he erased his face and his eyes and his eyebrows and he made his mouth in the back and backward of his back head. Isn't it obvious? And not only that, if a Muslim, he might say to you, oh, the wound, this is not now. This is in the day of judgment. Potato. You see, you need to tell your prophet how to lie. Look what the Quran says. The Quran says now. Because he said to them, the same as we did to the people who broke the Sabbath. Allah, he cursed them and he made them pigs and monkeys. And by the way, who in the world can prove such a story? That the pigs one day, they did, sorry, that the, the Jews one day, they did fishing in Saturday, and Allah, he cursed them, made them pigs and monkeys. I mean, who is the, who is the stupid who want to believe in it? And look at this God. If you fish in Saturday, he make you a pig or a monkey. But if you rape a child like Muhammad, no. If you rape a woman, no. If you steal, no. But if you fish... Allah will make you a pig, brother. I mean, you see, it makes sense, isn't it? It makes a lot of sense. If you do fishing, 
Allah will make you a pig. If you rape a child, Allah don't move. And what is the proof that the Jews become pigs and monkeys? Nothing. Muhammad making a story. This idiot, he heard the story, the Jews, they tell it to the, to the children. The children, the, the, the Jews, in order to tell their, to teach their children to, do, to be like, uh, you know, uh, to fear God, not to disobey. So they tell them fiction stories, like, you know, there is a group of people, they did. So Muhammad, he took the story, he put in the Quran. Idiot. You stupid, this is for kids. And, and what make it even more funny, that the story about the pigs, or the Jews who become pigs in the Quran, they themselves, they were obeying the Sabbath, but Allah, he hide the fish from them, brother. And he make the fish come to them only in Saturday, brother. Like, what the heck? Chapter 7, verse number 163, the story as told by so-called Allah. Ask them, ask them concerning the town. Like, ask who? What's wrong with you? Nobody heard this story. Which Jewish books have such a stupid story? Ask them concerning the town standing close by the sea. Behold, they transgressed in the matter of Sabbath. For on, on the day of their Sabbath, the fish don't, don't come. What the heck? What, what, what happened? For on the day of their Sabbath, their fish did come to them openly holding up their heads ah, 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 we are here <laughs> but on the day they had no sabbath they come out he come not thus we make a trial for them so allah he is making the fish come only in saturday brother and what the the fish they do they jump above the water and they do belly dancing. Isn't this is beautiful? So this is the ocean. And this is the fish. It's a red fish. So this fish brother she put her head out of the water. And she have a, a, a cigar from Cuba. And she's smoking. And the Jews are angry. And, this, and the fish, like, you know, she is smoking cigar, you know. <laughs> and the Jews, what they can do? It's Sabbath. They are hungry, brother. Allah is making the fish come above the water, dancing in the top of the water, smoking cigarette, and they can do nothing about it. I mean, isn't it, this is really disgusting, brother? So those Jews, they could not take it no more. All right. Uh, <laughs> so the Muslims, they found that Jesus cannot be God because he eat food. All those stupid stories of Muhammad and his God are not making Allah not God for sure. So Muhammad, he threatened the Christians, if they convert to Islam, Allah will erase their faces. And brother, you should see my face. Unbelievable. My mouth now in the back of my head. What a stupid religion. But Jesus who can make from the mud the bird for them is not God. This anyone can do that. Oh, Allah, he gave him the power. But look now what happened when the Muslim, they say Allah gave him the power. It doesn't matter. 
Jesus have the power. So now we have two creators. You like it or not, even the Quran says, Jesus, he said, I breathe into him. Who is the one doing the breathing? Jesus. So the silly Muhammadan, when they try to come with their logic, we die with their logic. I wish I was a Jew at that time. And by the way, I have a neighbor, he is a Jew. I saw him in Saturday going fishing. This was many years ago. I cannot bring him here to talk to you because now he is in the zoo. In the zoo. I saw him Saturday in the morning. He was taking his fishing rod. I told him, Jack Shalom, where are you going, man? He said, hey, Christian Brenz, I'm going to do fishing. Uh, do you want to come to with me? I said, are you stupid or what? Today is Sabbath, man. Do you know what would happen to you? He said, come on, do you believe Prophet Muhammad? He is a false prophet. <laughs> come on, you want to believe him? So Jack Shalom, he took his uh, fishing rod, you know, and he went. Now, to be honest with you, in the beginning, I mean, like, I, I don't believe Muhammad, he, I mean, he's true prophet, you know. Let me tell you my story now, how I converted to Islam. Okay. So, I did not, you know, I, I laughed with him. I said, you are right. You know, it's that that's really impossible. But then when Jack Shalom, brother, come back home after a long day of fishing, I could not believe what I saw. Jack Shalom, he opened the car door. He did not notice it, by the way. He did not notice. So I said to him, hey, what the heck? Who are you? He said, oh, 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 look, what the heck? I look, he have a watch in his hand. You know, this is, oh, man, this is the watch of Jack Shalom. Why the monkey have the watch of Jack Shalom? I start asking questions. You know, you know me, I ask questions all the time, you know? So I look here, he have smartwatch made by Taliban Apple's company, you know? So I said to myself, why he have the, I said to him, the, the monkey, hey monkey, where you get this watch, man? The monkey, he start jumping and then he point his hand at his ass. And I look, and Jack Shalom, he was wearing jeans. It's called Levi's. Brother, he was wearing Levi's too. I start getting suspicious. Jack Shalom, his eyes were green. I look at the monkey. Man, they look the same. Jack Shalom have no teeth. I look at his mouth, he has zero teeth. Maybe I should tell you the story from the beginning. Jack Shalom, he lost his teeth since he have very big and beautiful mother-in-law. She smashed his mouth one day and he lost all his teeth. Just It was just one, one, one done deal. And then I didn't know what to do. Call the ambulance, call his family, call his mother-in-law. So I said, okay, I'm going to call his wife. So I called his wife. I told her, your husband, he became a monkey. She said, are you kidding me? All his life is a monkey. I said, no, 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 listen, I'm serious. This time he really become a monkey. She said, listen, my neighbor, mind your business. I know my, are you saying that my husband now is doing the monkey business, sleeping with other women? I said, not exactly. He literally, literally become a monkey. She said to me, trust me, I know him. Literally, literally, he is a monkey. Just give him a banana. Now, what the heck? She don't, she don't understand what's happening. So I took us, you know, I took, a, I took a, a picture for her husband and I sent it to her. She said to me, is that your son? Uh, what the heck? Said, what, what, what do you mean this is my son? She said, well, he looked like you. I said, oh, okay, you got a point there. <laughs> <laughs> and the Muslims, they are converting people to Islam because Islam makes sense. <laughs> I 
Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage unless he have a mental issue? So for those who they come to me, you say, this guy you converted to Islam, you are stupid like him. I mean, if this guy is a donkey, he is a donkey. What I can do for donkeys? You know, donkeys, they choose they, to be donkeys. This is their business. You want to help them share my videos with them? What I can do? Uh, what the Quran says about disease? Uh, Quran says about disease. Uh, well, the Quran says that Allah, he make you sick. He is a bacteria himself. <laughs> now listen, my Skype is open. If there is any Abdul would like to join us, please let me know. Just text me and I will be happy to have you. There is somebody is a female trying to call. Why a female trying to call? We say Muslims only call. Muslims. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan would like to join us and he is proud about the monkey story. We can change the topic, by the way. GG, you text me. Your name is Helen. Why you text me? Any Abdul? They don't have a camera when they split the moon. You see, they don't have a camera when they split the moon, but people have papers. I mean, people, they can write things. There is a historian at that time. This is 600 years of Jesus, not even in the time of Jesus. So things change. Writing is way easier. So uh, if anything happened ever, I mean, oh, oh, what is this story is this guy? I mean, who in the world don't believe in this? You see, the Jews today in Israel, they have a festival for gays and lesbians, and they do it in Saturday. In Saturday. So Allah, he punished the Jews for doing fishing in Saturday, and then he don't do anything to them for having one of the biggest festivals for homosexual in the world in Tel Aviv, in Haifa. In Saturday, do we have any Muhammadan? I I saw that video, Eric. I saw it. I meet the commander of the chicken. Yeah. Actually, the chicken are the mujahideen. You go in, like you go in Israel, you will see a, a terrorist. He shoot at people, and then he try to run away. They kill him. And then they try to hide the group of this terrorist. So the Israeli army go inside, a commander's unit, just a small unit. They kill those terrorists. After they leave, there's tens of thousands of heroes holding guns, shooting in the sky. Like, where is the gun when the Israeli was there? When they come to you, you disappear. Like once, you know, in Lebanon, the Israeli unit, they landed in the highway. Imagine the commandos. Literally, they landed in the highway. And they capture number one person in Hezbollah at that time in Lebanon. They went down in the road and they have German shepherd, you know, dogs with them. It's like it's like, a, like going to the park. They captured the guy. They captured capture his bodyguard. They put him in the airplane. They took him. They disappear. 15 minutes after they disappear in the sky, then the terrorists, they went out in the street. Allahu Akbar. Where you been? Where you been when the Israeli were here? Just 15 minutes ago, they hide under the ground. Uh, let us see. This guy is trying to contact us. If you are the Muslim, I will hang up on you. Just to let you know. 